chemical bonds. The interactions of two or more atoms mainly occur at the outermost shell or energy level. The consequence of these interactions results in a chemical reaction. In atoms that have fewer or more than eight electrons in their outermost energy level, reactions occur that result in the loss, gain, or sharing of electrons with another atom to satisfy the octet rule. The octet rule means that elements tend to combine so that each atom has eight electrons in its outermost shell. This results in the formation of structures such as crystals or molecules. There are two main types of chemical bonds, ionic bonds and covalent bonds. Ionic bonds are bonds where the transfer of electrons takes place. Let's see how this type of bond works. Here we have a sodium atom, which has an atomic number of 11, meaning it has 11 protons in its nucleus and 11 electrons in its shells or energy levels. Shell 1 has 2 electrons, shell 2 has 8 electrons, and shell 3 has 1 electron. And here we have a chlorine atom, which has an atomic number of 17, so 17 protons and 17 electrons. It has 2 electrons in shell 1, 8 in shell 2, and 7 in shell 3. We know that atoms want to have 8 electrons in their outer shell, so sodium can give up 1 electron, and now it has 8 electrons in its outer shell, and chlorine can take that electron from sodium, and that will give it 8 electrons in its outer shell. Since the sodium atom gave up an electron, it has 11 protons, which are positively charged, and 10 electrons, which are negatively charged. This results in the formation of a sodium ion with a positive charge. An ion is an atom or molecule with a net electrical charge due to the loss or gain of an electron. Since the chlorine atom gained an electron and now has 17 protons and 18 electrons, it is a chloride ion with a negative charge. The positively charged sodium ion is now attracted to the negatively charged chloride ion and NaCl, or table salt, is formed. This is an ionic bond. So, ionic bonding is when an electron transfer takes place and generates two oppositely charged ions. Now for covalent bonds. Covalent bonds are chemical bonds that are formed by the sharing of one or more pairs of electrons by the outer energy levels or shells of two atoms. The four major elements of the body, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen, almost always form covalent bonds by sharing electrons. So, for instance, two hydrogen atoms can bond by sharing a pair of electrons. Hydrogen is one of the exceptions to the octet rule of having eight electrons in the outer shell because it only has one shell. Let's look at carbon dioxide, or CO2, which forms a covalent bond. Oxygen has an atomic mass of eight, so eight protons and eight electrons, two electrons in its inner shell and six in its outer shell. So, oxygen atoms want two more electrons for their outer shell. Carbon has an atomic mass of six, six protons and six electrons, two in the inner shell and four in the outer shell. So, it wants four more electrons for its outer shell. These fellas can make each other happy by sharing what they have. Oxygen atom number one can share two of its electrons with the carbon atom, and in return, the carbon atom can share two of its own electrons with oxygen atom number one making oxygen atom number one happy. Then oxygen atom number two can come in, and like oxygen atom number one, it can share two of its electrons with the carbon atom, and again in return, the carbon atom has two more of its own electrons that it can share with oxygen atom number two. So now all three atoms are happy. By sharing two pairs of electrons in this situation, a double bond has been formed, and double bonds are important in chemical reactions. And that be the basics on attractions between atoms.